We all know who to call if we're in trouble. Of course, you call the police. But who do you call if you have a problem with geese? As Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Rader shows us in tonight's Only in Indiana segment, you call the geese police. It is something we come to expect this time of year. The majestic migration southward that we all secretly envy. They're flying south to avoid the winter to come. The problem is, just like the rest of us, not everyone gets to go. Those who stay behind can cause a mounting problem. One goose can leave up to a pound of waste or more a day. So just imagine what a flock of, say, 50 can do. In a couple of days, you've got 50 to 100 you know, pounds of droppings on your property. Fortunately, there is someone to call if you need to get the flock out. Sometimes they see us, they start squawking. You call the police. They recognize our truck. They do? Yes, they do. The geese, police. No, we're going multiple times to every site, multiple times a day, seven days a week. Well, the geese don't realize, you know, that it's Sunday and Saturday, and they're still going to be there. Fortunately, most of the officers in this department don't realize it either. Hi, Josephine. If the geese are not intimidated by the truck, then the rank and furry take over, like Flojo. Easy. Easy. At age 10, Flojo's a senior officer, dedicated. Walk up. Obedient, and above all, silent. When they're working, they're silent. They're just focused completely on what they're doing. And then there is Bond, James Bond, the only male in this four-legged department of four. He'll start walking up there, and you know, they take off, and he just turns like, really? That was it? That's all I get to do? And it's like, yeah, come on, let's get back in the truck. We'll go find some more. Look, 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 right there, here. Four years of training taught them to stock on command. Josephine, walk up. They crouch and circle, but never attack. Of course, the geese have superiority on water. Good girl. But these border collies Not are him. sworn to herd and protect. And so then we say, OK, you're going to be that way. We'll put the dog in the water. And then the dog goes in the water. And then it's all of a sudden, their heads are up. There are certain squawks. Like, you know, what's that? They're not allowed to be in the water. Then the geese are gone geese. Good job. They're off to the next place. Good job. A lot of sites where you, know, you may move them in the morning and then you won't see them again. So is that good or bad? Th that's that's good because we're we're being paid to do that, but it's bad for us because then. <laughs> but it's good, we have no geese. Good word of mouth. It's good. We says, have no well, geese. Have it's problem. bad. We have no geese. <laughs> Such is the dilemma of the geese police. This department is so good. It's working itself out of work. <gasps> what a good girl. I did a good job. You're all wet. Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Good job, Flo. Good job. And if you've got a story idea for Kevin that is uniquely Indiana, be sure to shoot him an email to krader at wthr.com.